Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I hope you are good and doing well. So in the last lecture, we implemented the mailer to notify users or not to notify the job seekers when the status on a job that they already applied for has been changed. Now in this lecture, we will not talk about the features, but we will talk about some improvement in our implementation. Okay. In this lecture, we will talk about one of the solid principle and that is S from the solid and this S stands for single responsibility principle. This means that a class should have only one reason to change, meaning it should have only one job or responsibility to serve. Okay. But we will be talking about the controller action here rather than class. So we will take our update action for example and we will see if we can implement single responsibility here. Okay. So first let me show you the update action that we implemented. So here in the update action you can see that it is serving lot of responsibility. So what the responsibilities it is serving that here at line number 41 you can see that it that it is updating a job okay and then it is checking whether this job is inactive for job seekers i mean whether its status is anything other than active okay then at the line number 43 to 46 what it is doing that it is fetching the users who need to be notified and then from 47 to 50 it is sending the notification email based on the update result via calling the notification mailer and then it is either redirecting to some new path or rendering the template based on the update result okay and all it means that it is handling or serving multiple responsibilities okay however this piece of code in the update action that we implemented is functional okay but what should be actual behavior or responsibility for this update action okay because an update action should only update the record and then based on the update result it should either redirect or new action path or render some template if there is any validation error or any kind of error okay but apart from its required responsibilities this update action is handling multiple other responsibilities as well okay and that should be maintained outside this action okay and why outside this action because in rails it is the principle that if your controller are as thin as possible then it's a good coding practice or it's a standard coding implementation okay so what we need to do to take this piece of code outside this application okay because sorry so what we need to do to take this code outside the application okay so we can use active record callbacks for handling these extra responsibilities and make our controller action as thin as possible and why i'm telling about active record callbacks because if you can see in the update action we are only fetching the users to notify and sending the emails once the object status has been changed and it has been saved to the database so either an after update or after save callback will work here to take care about the extra responsibilities from this update action within our company jobs controller okay so let's refactor this so to refactor this first open the job model and define a callback there okay so here you can see that this is our job model okay and here we can define all the callbacks so let's define the callbacks first let's comment it callbacks and then here after uh, before create callback we will define a after update callback after update and then we need to mention our action and that is notify job seeker on status change so notify job seekers on status changed for applied job okay and now we need to make this callback conditional okay and why conditional i will explain it later okay so here you can see that we have this section so we need to call execute this callback or trigger this callback only if this condition that is inactive for job seeker returns true okay now we need to implement some private actions okay so let's come to the bottom of the file and define the private okay and now we need to implement two private actions okay so def notifiable users okay and then from the jobs controller what you need to do that you just need to take out this piece of code okay so here what you can do that here okay so this is let's make it like that and add the where here map as well here 
okay hey, however if you wish here you can use self dot applied jobs as well but uh, we do not need to use the self because if we call the applied jobs it will directly call its associated method which is the applied jobs okay so you can skip using self here okay but if you keep it i mean if you call invoke this applied jobs on the self it is fine it doesn't need to be do anything here okay it will work still okay now we need to implement a method to send the notification email okay so now our callback action should be implemented okay so here we use after update notify job seekers on status changed for applied job okay so let's implement this action here okay so def and here what we need to do that we need to handle the sending the email responsibilities here okay so we will use this piece of code okay and here so just do it here and here replace this at the red job with the self okay because we do not have defined at the red job variable here, instance variable here and why we are using self because we are calling it on a after update callback that means when a specific job get updated and saved into the database so we need to use self here okay and here instead of users what we need to use notifiable users okay so replace this users with notifiable users and then add if notifiable users dot present okay so this implementation is better than uh, the previous one and now from the jobs controller what you can do that you can remove this kind of implementation okay so let me revise that again what we were handling in the update action previously so here if at the rate job dot first it is checking or updating the job first okay and then it is checking if it is inactive for job seekers okay if this condition returns true then it is fetching all the notifiable users or all the users that need to be notified when the status change of the job and if the users present then it is calling the mailer action okay but now we don't need this piece of implementation here why because we handled all the responsibility within the callback action okay now let me explain the callback okay so here first we define the callback a conditional callback that is after update notify job seekers on status change for applied job if and only if inactive for job seekers condition returns true okay whether i mean when the status of the change anything from active okay whether it is closed inactive or draft doesn't matter but it should not be active okay now one can think that why i used after update not the after save okay so the reason behind it you need to be careful while choosing the callbacks okay because after save will also work here okay not only the after update but after save will also work or after commit on update will also work here but after save and after commit will work whenever the record gets saved into the database okay and saving will be performed whenever you create a new job into the database so if you use after save it is, this will get invoked when a new job created but we only need this if status updated and it is set to inactive for job seeker and only if user has applied for the job okay so that's why we use after update here now here let me tell you that what we are doing in the notifiable users this action is only responsible for fetching all the users that need to be notified when the status of the job changed okay so in this section we just to find out all the users that need to be notified and now in this callback action what we are doing we are only iterating all the users and sending out the email okay so here you can see that every action is serving the single responsibility now you can see in the jobs controller that what this job action is doing now i mean this update action is doing now in the jobs controller that first it is updating the job okay and then it is redirecting to the company jobs path if the update being successful and then it is rendering the edit functionality and now in the job model what we did that after save or after update sorry it is first checking that whether this action is returning true or false if it is returning true then our notified job seeker uh, on status change for applied job will get call okay and in this section we are calling this notifiable users okay so now you can see we have multiple action and every action or every method just to handle a single responsibility okay and that is a better implementation and that is a standard practice to implement such kind of things now we need to test that whether this is still working or not as expected okay so what we will do that we will allow a user to apply on a job first okay so when you go to the job here here you can see that this is the job okay now let's view this job 
okay so just copy its uh, title angular front end developer required okay and then what you can do go to the incognito mode okay and then incognito mode what you need to do either you can refresh the this jobs uh, this company's jobs index okay now you can see that this is the job so you can apply to this job okay let's say hi there okay and let's copy this lorem if some text here paste it thanks ctc whatever your ctc right now <laughs> just kidding and whatever you expected let's say i expecting five lakhs however my cell is more than five lakhs <laughs> so now let's provide the number here okay and then immediate and serving notice period yes true okay and now let's make some space into the terminal okay so we made this space and now when we click on the applied jobs you can see that user has applied on this job now let's go to the company's page okay back to the list okay and now go to the company's page and edit this job okay so what we need to do here let's make its status from active to closed for example and then make some space into the terminal and we will see that what is happening here so when you click on the post job you can see that we received the email from the letter opener here but in the terminal what you can see that this has been updated okay and then we received an email okay so now you can see that job dot line number 65 and if you go to the job dot rv line number 65 so what it is doing that it is using this map functionality and it is fetching all the users okay so even after this refactoring our code is working fine okay so this is what we do let me recap again so in the jobs controller now we are handling only the update operation within the job and to fetch the notifiable users or to identify the users who need to be notified when the state is changed and is sending out the email we handle all that responsibility within the update callback okay and after update callback and this after update callback will not be triggered whenever you let's say you change the status of the job or you change the let's say uh, title of the job and anything so this will not be get triggered on every update okay it will only get updated if inactive for job seekers okay and then we break it down into the notifiable users and notify for job seekers on status changed for applied jobs okay so now you can see that all the actions that we implemented here are serving only one responsibility at a time so it's a neat and clean approach and this way you can keep your controllers as thin as possible okay now if you go to the jobs controllers you can see that in the create action as well we have the same thing that uh, if dot job dot save job dot active and so on so what you need to do here that you just need to uh, break it into the callbacks as well okay like there you can find all the uh, notifiable users or notifiable users for job create and then you can iterate it within the callback okay so this is you need to do i'm leaving this task up to you like how you will do this uh, refactoring for the create action and how you will do how you will do this for ref refactoring for the destroy action okay however i will push this code to the i will refactor this at my end as well and push the code to the uh, repository so you can find out the pr and you can check your code with my work but this is the way that we can make it more better okay now one can think that sorry now one can think that if this is the better solution that we did here right now so why i did all the implementation in update action in first place okay because i wanted to show you the difference between just the functional implementation and functional implementation by following standard practices okay and just making features functional will not make you a better developer but the functional implementation by following standard practices will make you solid and proud developer okay so i hope you like this lecture follow this and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe